Morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. So Wednesday, 6.53, running super fresh and early this morning. Um, got a lot going on, bit of a mixed match day. Try and plug into the skyline today, get some stuff done on the R35. <coughs> Bloody cough and cold, I tell you, it can go away now. Um, but the rain has arrived. Fortunately, last night, um, after collapsing the kids' bounce, uh, not the kids' bounce, the kids' uh, playhouse, the summer house, um, its demise into a pile of wood and slow burns in a barrel, um, like little controlled bonfires every evening. Um, I knew the rain was coming today and saw the weather and was just like, if I don't get it rid of it now, we're going to be stuck with a wet pile of wood and, and that's a nightmare to get rid of because it obviously doesn't burn when it's wet. So I bit the bullet, <laughs> I used some of the digger's diesel, I made a pile, poured on the diesel and I let it rip. I am the god of hellfire and I bring you... I spent about three hours watching it, um, we had some very very impressive flames. Um, I would hazard a guess to say that what's the tree they were probably at least 12 foot high the flames they were double me at least um really cool nice burn um really warm in the garden last night uh wifey made curry and me and faith actually just didn't like the flames faith uh, just didn't like the flames the wifey was panicking that i was going to burn everything down in the garden um but Faith was up for it, she's a lot more like me. Um, so we sat outside, wifey made curry, and we sat on the, the sort of side steps, just watching the fire burn, eating curry and chatting. It was lovely, it was a really nice evening. Um, eventually the fire died down to kind of like a just a big, nice smoldering pit. So I was able to use the digger and scoop it into little sections, or a section, a big section, where it just sat and got rid of the rest of the wood that was kind of waiting. And I woke up this morning to just a nice fat pile of ash and rain. So that's it, it's done. We've got the um, excavation work to use the digger in the sort of footings. I say footings, it wasn't. It was a bunch of gravel and some random concrete hardcore that was actually holding up the topsy-turvy house. It was ready to slip down that hill at any minute looking at the footings, there was nothing holding it together. Um, so we've got to move all the hardcore back up to where the patio is going to go and then we can start leveling the garden smoothing out the ramp down the hill so that it's not so much of a slide um, and start kind of getting the garden ready for the wall to be built and then the patio to go on top um, we'll see what happens today will work i've got a camera booked in for jay but i don't know whether that means he's coming or not I'm, i had a cancellation um, so I don't know whether he's got something on or what, we'll see. Um, but we may have some dash cam work today, but we've definitely got stuff to do with the R35. We need to get that underway. We need to clean up the rust treated area, paint it, and then start the cabling of, of all the new stuff. Um, reconfigure the amplifier, add in a few more leads and speakers and stuff and get it sounding wicked for Ben. So hopefully we shall make some headway on that today. Um, insurance update. The um, lovely Emma that's taken care of my case. Um, she's a weapon, she is that one, I tell you. Um, she, we've got this thing booked in already. So Monday morning, this goes into the body shop uh, this coming Monday. Um, so we'll lose that. She's gonna look at the, this is for the damage on the back. She's gonna look at the damage on the front and see if they can incorporate the two repairs together while the car's there, it kind of makes sense. Um, Wifey's cube has definitely been written off due to economical value. There's nothing obviously structurally wrong with it. So I've made a deal with the insurance company. They're gonna pay me out and I'm gonna buy the car back and I'm just gonna sell it off cheaply. So if anyone wants a, anyone wants a little bit yellow, little bit blue, little bit green cube, get in touch because it's going cheap. Um, and then Chase has been paid out for, so I can get the bumper ordered, get that into the body shop, get that fixed. And we're just waiting on the council, which we know they're going to drag their heels. They're going to be awkward, so I need to chase them today. 
but other than that guys it's off to work get a coffee start the day um, I'm still feeling a little bit uh, under the weather and beaten up about the whole situation um, what with the bunny and everything um, I'm just sad it's just it's just a massive waste of a you know a little life and she was a she was a proper little character um, but yeah I just I think I just need time to kind of get over this cold and compose myself and get back focused on what we're doing because at the minute I'm just like <laughs> can't be asked it's yeah it's a bit I'm quite a motivated person and when I get like this it's a problem because I am just a bit ugh. but I feel rotten so try and pick myself up a bit make some fun content for us lot and uh, and I'll see you soon off to the shop Morning everyone, how are we diddling? Let me just turn this down a second. There we go. So Dan's bringing in the first one this morning, which is a Porsche KN. We've got front and rear dash cameras to do one in. That do, mate. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, F200 Pro, going in this one. We have the funky little <laughs> brushies. Um, we're not going to enter this because it's a breakable clip. So we're going to do roof mount and then that's going to run into the dash. There goes the phone already. So we've got standard edge unit, roof clip, uh, and then the front camera is obviously going to sit up there onto this one. So Dan's going to jump on F200 Pro. I am playing with the GTR. So we've got cables and stuff being redone, lots of stuff cut out of it. Um, we're gonna run in new power, new signal. Um, we figured out a Renault harness stroke Nissan, which is gonna give us the power for the Sony. We're gonna mount the Bit 10D underneath it so we can have a USB out and then our digital signal cables, which will be these two, which will run straight to the amplifier in the back. They're going to run up behind here as well, so we'll have everything in one location, signal and stuff, then straight to the back of the uh, back of the car. We'll have a delve into retuning the amp, sorting out this stuff as well. We've got remake and clean up these earths. I think what I'm going to do, actually, looking at the state of this, is not bother trying to clean up that brass. Is I'm going to cut these off, I'm going to put them all into a nice new plug, protect them, clean up the earths, uh, and then go again, and then. Yeah, look at some other stuff. Just make sure this is all nice and neat for Ben when he picks it up. But uh, doors have started as well. I'm going to jump on with a fab table and make him a ring and adapter that sits to this size because we've got um, a nice outline which matches the curve of the Nissan door. So I'm going to make a speaker panel and adapter ring which is going to sit and cover this section here like that. And then obviously we can mount in our morale speaker into that location too. So that's uh, that's the task ongoing. And I'll come back to you in a bit when Dan is knuckles deep in a Porsche. See you in a bit.
trying to take my own fucking hand off. If we're going to do morale, let's do morale, right? <laughs> Carbon fibre surrounds for the morale surround. Yeah, boy! Morning, everyone. Morning, morning. So, First one's done, which is the Porsche K KN? Cayman? I don't know what it is, hang on. McCann? It's a KN? That one, that one there. So we've got this one in today. Uh, this one's had front and rear facing F200 Pros. So this one is all done. If I just flip my screen around so I can see what I'm showing you. Camera's at the top there, GPS puck's just above it. Obviously from the driver's position, once he's in the car, it's pretty much invisible, which is perfect. Uh, this has obviously got the parking mode and everything set up on it, so this one's pretty much all done now. It is just a case of getting the customer to come back and come collect it. The rear camera I haven't mounted to the windscreen, I've mounted it to a roof clip that I've made and put there, so that's that one all done. So that way then we haven't got to muck around with this and any of this, we can just pop it there. So that's that sorted, and then the GTR, oh, battery symbol's just come up. I assume that's because it's slowly dying. That's all right, at least it isn't just going to turn off on me. But the GTR, we are building the door cards up, so speakers are in, so as you can see. And then obviously the tweeter's in just there. Um, but we are mounting the crossover, so I've made this little plate for it. And I'm running the cable up and down to the speaker, and then up and round to the tweeters up top of here. So I should get that all sorted. But now is lunchtime, so we're going to go and stop and get some food. I mean, we'll give you a shout back a little bit later on, but uh, I'll Show film. Showing the other side. Showing the other, other side. side of the door. No, I haven't yet, because there's stuff on top of it. I'll show them that after lunch. I'd show them now. Show them now? Show them now if you want. I only say because the camera's got a battery light on it. Oh, is it? It has. That's right, we can charge it while we're on lunch. It's probably because I was doing time lapse this morning. That's right. And that's the second day of battery. I was going to say, two days worth of battery is not too bad. But there you go, so... Carbon fiber. Tweet is all mounted <laughs> at the top there. Carbon fiber. Keep on Fubri. But yeah, carbon fiber ring that Alex has made to go around the speaker so that we can cover up the mounting bits. You can have tweeters. Oh. But yeah, it's uh, Pawn. a little bit nice. Yeah, it is a bit nice. It is a bit nice. So we've got some wiring to do, but we will catch up with you fairly soon. Right then, so, little update for the end of the day. We haven't done any more filming after, since after lunch, but Alex is just bringing the chaser in. Okay, like the sound bars on here just went to the maximum. Let me just blow the mic out on the camera real quick. But I uh, thought I'd give you a quick update on what we've managed to get done before the end of the day today. So the, <laughs> the doors are pretty much built. I've just got to run the wiring for this one. Um, and if I move this out of the way so that you can see the other door, I'll turn this around. You can see I've done the key at uh, the wiring for the crossover. So I've got the tweeter wiring run up to the top here and soldered in. Then the input cables are there ready to go. And then obviously the soldered connections on the back of the speaker there. So yeah, I've got to make out the little mount for the, door, the other door card tomorrow. Mount that all up, wire it all in, get that one fitted, go from there. 
and then we can carry on with some more of the GTR stuff. So Alex has been busy starting up, starting making this. So I've got this little issue here where the this thing is really curved in. So we've got a hole cut ready for the tweeter. But what we will do is put it on here and then basically straighten out the metal so that it sits flat around the tweeter. We cut out a piece of card, cut out a piece of carpet that will cover up the little gap as you can see here. This bit all the way around there, we'll darken that out and then, uh, and then the tweeter will sit in. We'll glue it in so it's stable. It's not gonna go anywhere but we need to flatten out this, this bump first. So cool. it takes the tweeter properly. Well, that's it for the day. And we've got the technical director of morale coming Monday. He wants to come and have a chat. No, it was the international sales director. That's it. International sales director of morale. Of morale. Coming to have a nose, which would be cool. Which will be very cool. But that's it for the day. Porsche Cayman. Cayenne. Cayenne is done and Cayman, gone. Cayman is the little two seater. Ah, oh, okay. The KN is the 4x4. Think of K, KN Pepper. And it don't stop. And it don't stop. We'll get there. Slowly but surely. Thank you for all the kind messages. I haven't read the comments yet, but I can see some already about the rabbit, which is really nice. Lesser little cotton socks. Fragile bunnies. Never good. But other than that, it's pretty much just done for today, isn't it? Yeah. Wednesday done. No. Wednesday? Wednesday? Yeah, it, it is, is Wednesday, Wednesday today, yeah. Wednesday today. Thursday Wednesday's tomorrow. done. Yeah. Thursday tomorrow. I don't know what we've got in tomorrow. Anything exciting? Ooh. Ooh. Um, <laughs> more on this. More on the GTR? Yeah, more on this. I'd like to get this semi, semi... Well, you've told them about the body control module? No, I haven't. Uh -huh. So, we've got an issue with... Not we, well, the owner. The owner's got an issue with the BCM, which is this little unit here. When we turned the ignition on to check some stuff, make sure that the... Obviously, we're missing electric windows. So, this window doesn't work. The driver's window doesn't work. This door occasionally gets power and occasionally works, but yeah. The one what we wanted to do was check to see if that ISO harness that we've got there would receive power from the original car's harness. So we turned the ignition on to, to see if that would work. As we did, this BCM gave it every click and every relay was ticking like crazy for about a minute or two, doing all sorts of funny stuff. So we had a bit of a, a nose round to find out what this, this unit was and what this did. And this does the body control module. So this does absolutely everything. Doors, central locking, um, it does transmission, it uh, does transmission stuff, it does loads of stuff. So we did a bit of a Google and found out what these things do. Um, but uh, other than that, yeah, we've had a, had a bit of an interesting day with this one. So we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning uh, with more stuff for the GTR. But other than that, have a great night. If you can't be safe, be good. And if you can't be good, don't get caught. See you soon.